guys might not know this about me, but I love playing video games. And two of my favorites from the 90s are System Shock 1 and 2. When I saw today's theme on the calendar, me, myself, and AI, I thought what a great opportunity to talk about these games and especially their villain, Shodan, or the sentient hyper-optimized data access network, who's the villain for these amazing games. If you've ever heard of the Bioshock game, System Shock is kind of, uh, I'm not going to say like a sequel but in the series proper, but it uh, definitely came out earlier and kind of led to the development of the Bioshock games. Uh, Bioshock is kind of a spiritual successor to the System Shock games. These are absolutely fantastic first-person shooters set in a cyberpunk dystopia in uh, 2072, I believe the first one takes place. You, a nameless hacker, hack the trioptimum networks and are caught. Uh, but your hack is so good, your skills are so valuable that you are given a choice. Either go to jail basically forever or they can drop the charges if you will help to remove the ethical restraints on the Citadel Station's AI system, Shodan, uh, thus allowing one of the trioptimum executives to steal a bunch of data and information to sell on the black market. Uh, in return for your services, as well as not going to jail, they're going to give you a military-grade cybernetic upgrade, um, which, once you remove the ethical constraints from Shodan, uh, they do. They actually... They're as good as their word. They don't just kill you outright, but they give you this military-grade uh, rig, upgrade you, and put you in a healing coma for six months up on the Citadel Station. When the player character awakes, uh, it's basically this nightmarish world. Obviously, this terrible like war of some kind has gone on, with uh, all of the personnel on the station having been uh, transformed into these horrific cybernetic mutants. And Shodan is the mastermind behind this. She's now self-aware and trying to become some kind of god-like figure by playing with the biology of the hapless crew. All the robots have been turned against you. And you're kind of stuck there in this terrible situation. Uh, you're contacted by some other trioptimum execs that can get a, a word in. And basically, Shodan's going to use the giant laser drill on the station to uh, start just wiping out Earth City. So you're on the clock to try to save the world from Shodan, and uh, it's just a great game, you guys. I would even recommend System Shock 2 as an even better game. You don't necessarily need to play the first game, but uh, it definitely helps to get the backstory. In the second game, you're a nameless military uh, uh, person. You can be a member of the psychic operatives. You can be a member of the Army or the Navy with different skills. And you're on one of the first interstellar flights, like out to, um, uh, you know, traveling at warp speed when the ship has apparently run into some really horrible, uh, strange alien creatures called the Many. To say more about it would spoil it, but this is an absolutely fantastic game. Uh, very action packed, frantic, and scary as all heck, I gotta say. Being in these dark corridors, uh, very moody, very atmospheric, and very, very cool. Now, unfortunately with this video, it seems like Shodan herself has interrupted me because a lot of the footage here was lost. Uh, so as I'm filling in all these pipes and tubes and wires going into Shodan's face here, once I get about three quarters of the way around, the footage cuts out, unfortunately. Um, and that misses the finale of the ink and adding these strange white lines to her face. As Shodan is a mainly cybernetic creature, she seems to be made up of like data and stuff. Great art design, uh, which is something these games have absolutely in spades. Now, like I said, they are from the 90s, so especially the first one, the graphics are very, very dated. And there are some uh, flaws with the gameplay. In System Shock 2, your guns and weapons uh, break faster than like uh, plate glass being handled by a bunch of uh, chipmunks without thumbs. I don't know, man. They break like crazy. But you know what? That's okay. Still great games, good action, good vibe, spooky atmosphere. The voice of Shodan, who taunts you throughout your various quests, is absolutely amazing. Covered with all kind of filters and reverb and stuff like that. I'll play a little clip here at the end so you can see what I mean. But absolutely fantastic.
All right, we are coming in here to the close to the point where the footage is going to cut out. So I feel really bad about that, you guys. But unfortunately, I just didn't have time to redo this. I think this drawing turned out absolutely great. All right, here we go. Bye bye footage. Click. And there we go. There's the finished product. Let's go right into the scan and take a look at Shonan. I think she looks really cool. This was a fun one to work on. Kind of a pain in the butt, though, with all those pipes and wires. But still, I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I get to talk to you guys about the System Shock games. I don't know whenever, when I'm ever going to do this kind of thing again. So what a great opportunity. Thanks again to Drawloween for putting out this great video. Thanks to you guys for watching. Thanks to the guys who made the System Shock games, too. I'll throw some links in the description. These things are pretty cheap on, like, GOG.com now. All right, you guys, till then, uh, if an AI starts taking over humanity, I don't know, you're screwed. There's no way around it. Good luck and good night. Look at you, hacker. A p -p pathetic creature of meat and bone, panting and sweating as you run through my corridors. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? 